32 Soft EMT Workbench. What is EMT? EMT stands for Enterprise Material Transfer. It is one of the supply chain management functions in QAD. It is used in multi-site implementations for automatic translation of sales orders or material orders into purchase orders and their transmission to the appropriate supplier using EDI. EMT in QAD manages and coordinates changes, so sales order and purchase remain synchronized. It also allows order changes between sites within an organization to be passed. Benefits of using EMT EMT is very useful functionality in QAD. When there are business process requirements for it, EMT can tremendously improve workflow and increase data accuracy and integrity by automating generation of purchase orders from sales orders and then automating sales order processing as a result of purchase order receipts. In the simplest scenario, once QAD automatically generates a purchase order from a sales order, simply print the purchase order and mail or fax it to your supplier, or you can automatically export purchase orders using EDI e-commerce. EMT ensures that sales order and purchase order remain synchronized. When you update a sales order for an EMT item, QAD automatically updates the associated purchase orders. Two delivery options implemented in QAD EMT allow either direct delivery from supplier to the end customer or transshipment through the business unit that placed the original sales order. EMT orders invoicing is integrated with standard invoicing. When your EMT supplier provides the items, you can follow the same invoicing procedures you would use for any sales order. Enterprise Material Transfer Workflow Let's look at the sample business process workflow where using EMT functionality will increase efficiency and reduce overhead. A company has a head office or distribution center in the United States and manufacturing facility in China. 1. It enters orders into the U.S. database. 2. Copies them into the Chinese database. Then processes and ships them in the Chinese database and keys in shipment information into the U.S. database to close the orders and invoice customers. Why EMT is not used? With functionality available in QAD to support this process, why do many companies not use it? Often, in the best case scenario, EMT process is replicated manually by doing double entry of sales orders in the original and supplier databases. In the worst case scenario, some of the orders exist only in the database that initiated the sales order, some only in the supplying database, and some are duplicated. Accounting then becomes a real challenge, not to mention lack of data transparency. The answer to this question, why EMT is not used, may be simple. Some companies may just not be aware this functionality exists in QAD. But, more often, companies choose to use different methods to achieve the same goal because technical implementation of the QAD EMT solution has certain weak spots. Here are some of them. To be able to use standard QAD messaging logic, EDI transformation maps need to be set up in e-commerce module. This requires IT expertise that is costly and might not be available on short notice. Some companies might not have the EDI e-commerce module as part of their QAD package, or they might be required to buy additional licenses for it. If the database where the sales order originates and supplying database are located on different servers, the company will need to have an engine to transfer files between servers, either using its own resources or a third party. In either case, it involves additional cost. Since EMT messages processing happens in batch mode, error handling becomes difficult. If EMT message import or export fails, time and effort required to troubleshoot and fix the problem might be much greater than if orders were keyed in or updated manually. It all depends on the level of knowledge and experience of the users involved in the process. Any issues with EDI transformation 
can be resolved only by IT. In most cases, without IT help, users cannot identify the root cause of the issue. Often, IT might not be available on demand, especially if EMT and EDI setup has been done by a third party as a one-time contract. All of these were the main reasons we came up with the idea of a 32Soft EMT workbench. It then evolved into much more than just addressing technical issues in implementing QAD EMT. 32Soft EMT Workbench As with all 32Soft products, EMT Workbench is using QAD functionality as a baseline, but it provides users with an easy, simple, reliable, and friendly way to use that functionality. 32Soft EMT Workbench allows users to easily transmit purchase orders without setting up EDI. It provides visibility to the EMT order's shipment status and has an integrated purchase order processing function that allows receipt of EMT purchase orders and ship process EMT sales orders with a click of a button. 32Soft EMT Workbench can also be used in the intercompany replenishment process with regular non-EMT purchase orders. It allows the use of the same data exchange and orders monitoring functions for these type of orders as it does for EMT orders. Let's look at what EMT Workbench can do. EMT Workbench has a central dashboard with EMT report that provides you with detailed information about open EMT orders in the U.S. database. After opening a Workbench, you need to click on Setup button to select databases you will be connecting to. In EMT process, there is always a primary business unit, PBU, where sales orders originates, and secondary business unit, SBU, that supplies items. In this demo, we will refer to them as U.S. and Chinese databases. Once you specified selection criteria in the header, cite an EMT supplier code, you can click on EMT report button and list of open EMT orders will be downloaded into Excel from the U.S. database. EMT report will show details on all open EMT sales orders in the U.S. database. You can see a lot of order details here, including quantity ordered, quantity in transit, quantity received. It also shows orders transmission status. Orders that have not been exported to Chinese database have not sent status. Orders that have been modified in the U.S. database after they were sent to Chinese database will have modified status, and orders that are waiting for shipment from Chinese database will have status waiting. EMT report also shows which sales order corresponding orders number in Chinese database. If you need to quickly look at the list of open EMT US sales orders in Chinese database, you can do so by clicking on SBU SO inquiry button. You will see the drill down into Chinese database for the list of open sales, uh, U.S. sales orders. Source, source column in this report will show if order is a true EMT order or intercompany order placed by U.S. site to replenish inventory level at its U.S. location. With EMT Workbench, you do not need to set up EDI process to be able to electronically exchange order details between U.S. and Chinese databases. You can export EMT orders created in U.S. database into Chinese database by clicking on Export PO to SBU button. Workbench will select order lines with status modified or not sent and open them in a separate PO export tab. You can review the list and make changes to certain fields if necessary. Fields that can be modified are highlighted in green and then click on Export to SBU button to complete the transfer. During the order export, EMT Workbench will connect to Chinese database and first validate data. If it finds any errors, message error occurred will be displayed in status window and color of cells with incorrect values will be changed to red. Once all reported errors are fixed, you can click on export to SVU button again to do another export attempt.
If export is successful, sales orders assigned to Chinese database to US purchase orders will be returned to Excel and PO transmission status in US database will be updated. To see the updated information on US EMT orders, you just need to go to dashboard and click on EMT report button again. As you can see, EMT status for all the orders have been updated and we all the orders have status waiting now. EMT Workbench also allows you to import into US database shipment information from Chinese database. If you click on Import Shipments button, shipments from Chinese database related to open US EMT sales orders will open in a separate tab. From US database perspective, shipments from Chinese database advanced shipping notices are unconfirmed PO shippers. To upload a sense into US database, you need to click on Create PO Shippers button. EMT Workbench downloads from Chinese database shipping information for all open EMT orders listed on the dashboard. Some ASNs have maybe been already downloaded before and sales order is in the list of the open orders because it's partially shipped. EMT Workbench has a built-in validation logic that prevents from loading the same ASN into primary business unit twice. So once you fix the, all the errors, you can repeat create sales order shippers action and if SN upload is successful, you will see updated status of EMT sales orders on the dashboard. You can see that for orders that we just received, we see the intransit quantities. Intransit quantities are cleared by processing EMT PO receipts. Once goods have been delivered to the U.S. warehouse or distribution center, you can click on Process Receipts button on the dashboard and record your receipts in QED. EMT Workbench will show details of all unconfirmed PO shippers on a separate PO Receipts tab. You need to leave EMT PO that should be received and then click on Receive All button. For example, I want to receive only those two. PO received process and finishes EMT order cycle and regular sales order process can begin at US location. You can refresh dashboard to see the updated status of the sales orders and here are the, is the sales order that we just received. Depending on the order type, whether it's transshipment shipment or transshipment, um, process can be designed there to shipment from, from the Chinese um, side automatically ships order in the US uh, database. The Tizisoft EMT Workbench also allows you to create or update EMT sales orders in US database directly from Excel. You just need to switch to Sales Order tab to be able to create new or modify existing EMT sales orders. Once all required changes have been made to existing sales orders or you enter details for new sales orders, in my example there are both, you can click on Validate button to verify data entered in Excel against US database and then click on Upload button. Press several functions and drill down one sales order tab designed to help with entering new sales orders. For example, lookup button will help you to find a value for corresponding column in QED. Inventory report shows detailed inventory information from for the selected item. View sales order function is an alternative way to sales order download. You just need to enter sales order number in sales order number column, click on view sales order button and output from QED report 713 
cell solar print will open up in a pop-up window. There are also several drill downs that connect to secondary business unit, Chinese database in our case, and show information from there. For example, there is MRP report drill, drill down. We are looking in this case uh, at MRP for item for this item. Thirty two soft EMT workbench utilizes to the full extent standard QD EMT functionality, but gives you an easy and transparent way to work with it, eliminating any need in setting up and maintaining costly EDI processes. It can exchange data between different QD domains or databases that use different QD versions and located in different servers. And used, as you just saw, it is purely a user tool and does not require IT support once it is installed. 